In this example, I'm going to give you an overview of the Tandem Server Publishing Tool. To access the publishing tool for the TandemServer.net website, we will use the administrator login credentials, login name admin, password admin, and then we'll click on the TandemServer.net slash admin link. We'll enter admin for the login name, and then admin for the password, and then click the login button. Welcome to the Tandem Server Content Management System Publishing Tool. This is where you will log in to manage your website. There are typically two versions of your website. One, the live site, which is the version the public will see. And two, the working version, which is the new version you are working on that the public cannot see, but you could see via preview mode. At the very top of the publishing tool, you will see the Tandem Server version number you are currently using. If you've registered Tandem Server for your domain name, quick link select box, image gallery button, online help button, logout button, the Tandem Server logo, the optional co-branding logo. Click on the quick link select box to see all of the options. The top group are links to various Tandem Server resources. The bottom group is optional and customizable and used for co-branding the Tandem Server publishing tool. Let's click on the default return to live site option and then click the go button. The live site of your website is now displayed. I'm going to click on the back button to return to the Tandem Server Publishing Tool. Clicking on the Image Gallery button will open the Photolia website. Photolia is a website where you can purchase royalty-free images to use on your website. Let's scroll down and click on the About Us link to read more about Fodia. Pause the video here if you'd like to read more about Fodia. I'm going to close the website to return to the Tandem Server Publishing Tool. Clicking on the Online Help button will take you directly to the Tandem Server Online Help. Clicking the logout button will log you out of the Tandem Server Publishing Tool. The Welcome tab displays the Tandem Server Dev Blog RSS feed to keep you up to date with the latest Tandem Server updates. The Publishing tab is where you'll publish, backup, and restore different versions of your website. You have two options when publishing. You could click the Publish with Backup button to publish your website live and create a backup of your website, or click the Publish without Backup button to publish your website live without creating a backup of your website. Click the Backup Working Version button to backup the version you are currently working on without publishing your changes to the live site. Click the Restore Live Version button to restore your current working version to be the same as the live version. Press the Start Over button if you would like to completely start over from scratch. Listed in the grid are all the backed up versions of your website. Every backup has a date timestamp and has an optional admin note. To enter an admin note, simply click the Add Note button. 
click the preview button to preview an archived version of your website. Click the restore button to restore an archived version of your website. Restoring is useful if you ever want to roll back to a previous version of your website. The security tab is where you'll create additional users. There are two types of users, administrators and trusted users. Administrators have access to your publishing tool and secured pages on your website. Trusted users only have access to the secured pages on your website and they do not have access to your publishing tool. Secured pages are password protected web pages on your website that can only be viewed by administrators and trusted users. The configuration tab allows you to change the main configuration settings for your website. Here you can manage the high level properties of your website such as the vertical navigation position, file not found page, enabling friendly URLs, and adding a favorites icon. We will get into the configuration settings in more detail in a later example. The Colors tab and the Custom Override tool are used to change the look and feel of your website. We will get into these tools in more detail in a later example. I am going to click around the Colors tool to demonstrate some of the options that you could customize. To change the theme color palette, click on the Select a Base Theme select box and then select the theme and you can see the theme color palette has changed. Select a style group on the left to edit. For custom overrides, click on the custom overrides link under the colors tab. The custom override tool is used to override the system styles to personalize your website. You can upload a custom background image. Upload a custom CSS style sheet. And add override styles right here in the text area.